How I wish your eyes would open so you'll see how much I love you. My prince. I came here alone to sing. How did you find me? How did you get so close and I didn't know? My heart yearns for you. I love you so much. There is, there is something about you I haven't seen in any other girl. My world is useless without you. I have to cut you short, my prince. I don't know why you keep hitting at me like this. I want to be your wife. Then why are you not saying yes to me? Do you want me to die first before you accept my proposal? It's now common knowledge I'm not from this land. You are the prince. The heir apparent to the throne. The elders in council will not let you marry a stranger. I don't care. I don't care about that. I'd rather have you and lose the throne than take the throne and lose you. That is how much I love you. This tree is looking at us will bear me witness that I said this. I made this sacrificial statement today. Make me happy. Marry me and I'll make you happy all the rest of your life. Please. My prince, your late father, as the Onwa says of Awovu, used to say something very remarkable. Do not give that which is sacred to the pig. Because there is no way the pig will know the value of what you are giving. He said that to me because he wants me to constantly remind you of the sacredness of the throne of Awovu. I, 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 I don't understand it. Why are we finally wasting time with a pig? Oh, my Lindsay. Who are you calling a pig? That maiden that just left here, Oninye or whatever her name is, is not from this kingdom. She can't be your wife. You have gone ahead to make the very zenith of sacrifice by telling her to her face that you can surrender the throne of our kingdom of all places in place of her love and for you to know who she is and what she represents she's not even thinking about that huge offer coming from the prince it follows naturally that she is that big that doesn't know the value of that how dare you I value her and I love her so much. Now you listen to me. The next time you open your mouth and call her a pig, I will kill you. Read my lips and understand it very well. I will kill you. Look at the time. See the time now. I'm disappointed in you. 
I'm totally disappointed in you. Since morning, I went out, went to the market, cooked. You're just coming back. Mother, what did I do? What did you do? You don't know what you did. I just wanted to confirm what I've been hearing about you. You, 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 you have been parambulating the whole, the whole street. They say that once I go out, fam, you take off. You're just walking the streets. And it is obvious that you have started following men. Mother, no. Yes. Just shut up. Oh. Shut up before I pounce on you. Mother, whoever told you that is lying. I have never followed any man in this kingdom. Indeed. They told me that you have been following men. That once I go, you take off. They, they say that even from your father's place, that, that's how they do. That always here and there. Must you prove them right? Must you? And all these things started since I told you that, that you're not from this town. <laughs> Is it fair? I, I, I give you good clothing. <laughs> I give you good food. I know I'm poor. I know I'm very, very poor, but I, I feed you well now. I clothe you well. I sent you to school, like others. So, whoa, whoa, whoa. look, if I had known that you would turn out to be this, eh, I, I would have. I would have. I came to the palace to see you, but I was told you went out with your personal assistant, so I decided to wait for you. Sorry to cut you short, Oza Ujima, but I'm, I'm worried. What could be so important that a man like you, the head of the body of kingmakers, would decide to sit and wait for a man like me? I'm, I'm deeply disturbed. This is a leap year. And the Feast of Onedo comes up on the last Saturday of August. A king must be crowned in Awovu kingdom before this date. By your father's declaration, you are the one to be crowned king. But we cannot crown you king when you are single. I am giving you from now till the end of July to go and look for a maiden whom we shall call your wife. If you don't do this, we shall go into another family and select someone whom we shall crown king. When this is done, please do not blame anybody in the kingmaker's group. And uh, uh, wait, as I was out. Must this wife of mine come from this land? I mean, can't I marry a woman from another land? You can marry a woman from other land, provided she will stand on the sacred mat of Onedo to pass the sanctity test. Maidens from other land scarcely pass this test. That is why people that want to be king in this kingdom are advised to marry from this kingdom. The woman I want to marry is not from this kingdom. But I'm sure, I'm sure she'll pass the sanctity test. Do you give me a word that I can present her? Go for the woman you love. But remember, if she fails the test, behold, you don't have all the time. I 
I will visit you later. I know you're a good man. And you shall help me. Sanctity test. Sanctity test. How do I cross this? I vow in great honor before the crown prince, the heir apparent to the throne of our kingdom. You shall live long, my prince. Where have you been and what have you been doing? Your Highness, I have been here. And as you can see, I have been drinking. Summarize as old you, man. Ozo Jima is a man of impeccable integrity. He is one man of this kingdom that knows the customs and the traditions of this land more than all the elders that sit in council. I can actually go a step further to say that Ozo Jima is a living encyclopedia as it concerns knowledge of the cultural value customs, traditions of the Igbos of Nigeria. But, Your Highness, I don't know. Why are you asking all these questions? Prepare. We're paying him a visit in his compound this evening. But Your Highness, also Jima was in this palace. And I'm, 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 of course I know he was here. And the prince. Prepare, we are paying him a visit. <laughs> but my princess, you can see, I can't possibly be more prepared than this. There are too many men in this kingdom that want me. They've been coming to me with mouth-watering offers. But all I can say to you, mother, that I have never compromised myself with any of them. Never. Can you swear? Can you swear on your word of honor? I can swear as many times as you want me to. I have tried my best to live the life that you taught me. I haven't brought shame upon myself. I haven't. I love you very much, my dear. Shame on you. Never. I love you. I love you so, so much. So, so much. I think I'm crying. I think I'm crying. I think it is high time. I showed you something that is important, very important to our lives. Yes, two of us. Very important. I want you to brief me on the progress you are making on the birthday song. Well, we are practicing with zeal and dedication. I am sure the prince will love the song. This will be the best birthday he ever had. Chisolo. There is something I need to remind you. Something you have to tell your colleagues. Listen, Chisolo. Remind them that this remains a surprise. No matter what happens, they have no right whatsoever 
to open up on the prince or to open up to the prince on what we are preparing. Are you listening to me? They all know the arrangement. And I am sure they will not betray themselves by opening up to the prince. I am sure. Yeah. Chisolo, how are you? I'm fine like that. Shall we? This thing has been here since you were very tiny, very little girl. Has been in this house. I have kept it all this while. You were born with it. So, my dear, this is the reason why you're here. And I believe that if not for this bracelet, maybe we never would have met. You will probably still be in Adendiago, married with children. This is the bracelet, the gold bracelet that brought us together. Hmm? So this bracelet was this tiny when you came. It just fitted your wrist. But mysteriously, each time I went to supervise it or take a look at it, I found out that as you were growing, it was getting bigger and longer. Mother, yes. ever since I found out you're not my real mother, I have consistently asked you who my real mother is or where I am from. And you kept telling me I was not mature enough to know. Yes. Are you finally telling me now that I am from this place called Diago? If I will make a name, I am only carrying out orders. An evil child may survive in all other lands. An evil child must never be allowed to live in Indago. I am killing you today by the orders of the king. Your blood shall be on his head and that of the seer. Your blood shall never be on my head. Your blood shall never be on my head. Please, don't the child. Who are you and why would you want to die? I don't want to die. Why then must you intercept with the sacrifice of cleansing my land on this sacred spot? My name is Ozod, a harmless woman from Awov. Please, spare the innocent child. Who told you she is innocent? This is a cursed child delivered in Indago with a golden bracelet on her wrist. The king has consulted many seers and they said she shall not leave. She will grow to destroy our kingdom. Her mother has been jailed in Indiago and I have been instructed to bring her here on this spot where three footpaths meet to kill her. Please, do this because of me. I will take this child to my land and I can tell you that the child will never know where she came from. Please, she has a right to live. I'm pleading with you to make her live. Please, she's only a woman. Can a woman ever destroy a land? Go back and tell those men that you killed the child. Please, you are only a warrior. What will you gain by killing the innocent child? Please, Biko, hmm? Biko. I can't believe it. 
You mean he would have killed me? Well, he was just carrying out orders. In fact, let us move out of the sun. Huh? He was just carrying out orders from the king. And you don't blame a man when he is giving orders. He has to carry it out. But he released you to me. And that he released you to me was act of God. If not for God, he wouldn't have done that. So I brought you back here. You know I'm not married again. My husband is dead. And I, I named you Eh? That is gift of God. Initially, I intended bringing you up as my own, as I don't have husband again. Uh, but after the dream, I had to open up to you. What, what dream? What dream is that, Mother? I can see good spin falls in your body. I know you have the heart of warriors. Why are you suddenly afraid of a woman with her arms? There is something about you that I cannot really place. But what do you want from me? What, what do you want in my compound? Madam Ozodi of our world. Huh? It shall be well with you. I look beyond you now, and I see a life of bliss ahead of you. You are a noble woman, and I hold you in high esteem. Thank you. But what do you want from my compound? Huh? I, I can see you're not from this part of the world. That beautiful girl you rescued from the juggler of death, the same girl that you named Onyinye, and the same girl that has grown to call you mother and sees you as one is my daughter. Hey. Ah. You will reap the reward for your good behaviors. But you must tell her where she comes from. Her origin. I see you as friend. What do you want from me? So you are the mother. The warrior told me that the mother was jailed. And so you are the woman that was jailed for, for delivering that so-called evil child. He meant that they have killed me and chained my spirit. This they did and nearly succeeded for all these years. I knew nothing. I knew nothing. But I am finally free from their evil chain. And that is why I've come to tell you what you must do. Tell my daughter where she came from. If you tell her the truth, she will love you more. But most importantly, it will help her to achieve her mission. So that is it. Your father's name was Inebeli Okoye. So your mother said that you have a mission, that you came for a mission. Hmm? 
and that is why you are born with this gold bracelet. So now it is left for you to decide what to do. Yes. What am I going to do? What is this mission that I have? I believe you have to go back to Ndiago. Trace your route back to Ndiago and find out what that mission is. Okay? But actually, always keep this thing well. Mm -hmm. Keep it well. Okay. I don't need to ask you because it's written all over your face. I'm your friend in this town and we have come a long way. Oye, I don't expect you to hide anything from me. Tell me, what's the matter with you? I'm not from this land. What? What do you mean by that? I know it sounds strange. But it's true. I am not from here. I am a woman from the Diablo Kingdom. Just wait a minute. Can you please just wait a minute? I want to understand you. You're from Indiago. Who told you that? I want to travel and trace my route. I have to go back and trace where I am from. I want you to accompany me. As my friend. Please. Why are you talking like this? Indiago is not a place to visit without preparation. Have you been there before? No, I haven't. But I've heard so much about that land. Then will you please follow me to the place? I beg you, please. Onye, please. Don't say it as if I'm being wicked or inconsiderate. See, no woman from this land will be willing to embark on a trip to Indiago. I thought you were my friend. Yes, we are friends. But there's certain things you don't just beg someone. Or you beg me for something else and I will do it. Any other thing apart from this one. Thanks. I will accompany you. I will. On one condition. What's the condition? I'm in love with Prince Inunze. Yes, I've always been in love with him. And I'm willing to do anything for him. Accept here and now that you would leave him for me. And I will accompany you to Indiago for you to trace your roots. Just this one thing. Why are you holding on to our prince? You're not even from this kingdom. He's never going to make you his wife. What we have gathered here to do today is a serious part of our tradition. We are gathered here before Udala, Onyowa, the source of fertility in our land. Prince Ubaka is here to select his wife. Ten of you are selected as the first maiden in India. Group. Ten of you are queens, but one shall emerge as the queen and will be decorated while others shall bow for her for blessings. My prince, the time has come.
I can see the sun around your face. Listen, when you stand before the medal, do not rely on beauty to make a choice. Beauty is a complex topic and nobody can ever explain what beauty is. Use your inner eye to find out which woman will rule with you. It's a woman behind the woman. When your inner eye fails you, use the staff of the king to ascertain who your wife is. Continue to give them the staff of the king until you find the one that is your wife. When you see that one that is holding the staff and stand, embrace her, and that embrace will go down in history. It looks simple, but never simple. I am only praying for a right maiden to be presented so that you do not pass the process more than once. I see nobility in you, and I believe you will rise to correct the evils of your father. Your father was an evil, but I look at you as a saint. Your Highness, uh, our curiosity sack is about to burst. If she is the queen, tell us, so we'll start to celebrate. I don't want to make a mistake. My physical eyes have failed me. And even my inner eyes have failed me. I will rely on the staff of the king to ascertain who the next queen is. Uh, uh, that is strange, your highness. Uh, my father never told me that the crown prince can use the staff of the king to select his bride. I can tell you your father did not tell you about the custom and traditions of our land. He did not tell you everything. He told you only the ones he remembered. I know exactly what I am doing. If any of those maidens here can hold the staff of the king and still stand normal, that minute shall become the queen of our land. And I shall embrace her before everyone here. And that embrace will go down in history as our will. I am sorry, my prince, but we cannot afford to bring the staff of the king, I mean our king, to ridicule. Exactly! The Marians of Ondiago should not touch the staff of the king. Bam. With all due respect, Obefi Agbalense. I can tell you that you're wrong. I know exactly what I am doing here. What I am doing as your advice given to me by the chief priest of this land. The staff is the staff of my fathers. And surely, I will not bring the staff of my fathers to ridicule.
Will they be you? Well, it is obvious. I am the only one who me. I am the one. I will not please the elders in council and displease myself by marrying the wrong woman. This moment. These are beautiful maidens, no doubt. But my wife is not here. None of them. None of them is the common queen. And I cannot make a choice from them. My prince, where then is the queen? Where is she? Yeah. Where is he going? What are, we, what are we going to do now? This one seems to be greater than me, you know. But, trust me, all of you, we are solidly behind you. I shall get to the root of it all. Yes, I will. This mission has been aborted and we shall gather here again at a later day. Thank you. Now I'm going to pick my room. Let me pick first. Let me pick my room. Put 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 You listen to Ozoji. And I believe you understood every single thing he said. So can you reconcile what you now know with the rubbish you told me earlier today that made me hit you? Something I, I haven't done in years. My prince, I let us not go into that. You assorted me for telling you the truth. You don't know any truth. You didn't tell me any truth. Rather, you insulted me by calling the woman I want to marry a pig. And then you went My for prince, them. can we... Yes, I listened to Ozo Jim and he confirmed that you can marry from anywhere. I accept his verdict in good faith but sincerely my prayers. That verdict of his has not solved any problem. What problem are you talking about? The woman you want to marry is not from our wolf. And I, I, I kept asking myself, 
What makes you think you can marry a woman that nobody knows her background? What is your problem with people's background? Talk about the woman as a person and leave her background out of it. Remember, my father imposed you on me as my personal assistant. Remember? And that is because your friend who I remember the best in the land. Oh, shut up, Omalinze! I know if I had probed into your background, perhaps you wouldn't be here in this palace as a palace keeper. I want you to give me your impression of her as a person, as a human being, and not her background. Well, as a person, I give it to her that she's good, at least, for being able to catch the heart of my prince. She is good. But that has not changed the fact that it is not noble for you to marry a woman that nobody knows the background. I can bet Madame Ozodi knows her background. My prince, you are wrong. Because countless number of times, Madame Ozodi has been confronted on this very issue. The only thing she remembered is that she picked the side where the mother abandoned her to die. Now, can you open your eyes and see the scenario? How are you going to face our woman? How are you going to douse their anger when they rise to challenge your decision? For having abandoned all the noble women of this kingdom and settled for a woman whose mother abandoned to die. Where are you going to hide? I want you to understand something, my prince. The women of our world are no longer as timid as they used to be. Go and call me, Madame Ozodi. Is it this night or are you talking about event for tomorrow? I want to talk to her this night. It is urgent. Prince, this man here is um, Ishio Belago, a great seer of this land. I have been speaking with him, and he has been saying so many things. I brought him here finally because I know his assertions and conclusions can only make sense to you when you hear him firsthand. That's why I brought him here. So what did you tell him? I told him that Oninye will be the problem you will have. You see, Madame Ozodi has already given her consent. Because she was so excited when you told her of your intentions in marrying her daughter. I must advise that Oninye remains the problem. Malinza, you see why I don't like all this? roadside seers. Okay. I asked you to go prepare for a journey to Ndiago and you went and brought this this man here? What is he saying? My prince, listen to Ishii Obelago because he is the only one that can solve our confusion. I brought him here because he told me we do not need to plan for any mission to Ndiago in search of any maiden because the maiden is here. There's something wrong with you. It was you and I who went to that woman's house. And she told us to our faces that the maiden had gone to Ndiago. So, what are you talking about? You're trying to tell me she lied? <laughs> she did not lie. You see, in actual fact, the maiden did set out on a mission to Ndiago. Even as we speak, she's still on that deadly mission. <sighs> Let us just hope that uh, she survives it. What do you mean by that? Are you saying she's in some kind of danger? My, my, my prince, why are you twisting what this man is saying? Why are you twisting what this man is saying? Mission to Ndiago is very deadly because that land is very backward. Very deadly. And to prove that, I'll be moving around this kingdom soliciting for assistance. People that will accompany us to the mission to Ndiago 
And to my greatest surprise, not even one soul declared interest to accompany us. Not even one soul. And in that zenith of my confusion, I decided to branch to Belago's house. And when I got to his house, he opened my eyes. Oh, Malinza, this man didn't open your eyes. He actually made you blind. How can he say that Onye, the girl I want to marry, is my problem? A woman that loves me so much. You see, you see, I, when I mentioned Onye earlier, I wasn't talking about the Onye you intend marrying. I was talking about her mother. She is her defense. She is your problem. Can't you see? Ah. Malinze, Malinze, where, where did you get this character from? What a bad user. Where, where did you get this, this man from? I remember Madame Ozodi told us that her mother was killed by the same king who ordered the execution of the child. So what is, what, what is this man talking about? Oh, Malinze, I will not stand here and take any more insults. Since your prince will not listen to me. No, I no, 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 you should have been waiting. Your blood is hot. You have not said the main thing to me. You have not actually told him the main thing. Because in your house you told me that we cannot afford to travel to Ndiago because if you try it, men of this kingdom will die in their numbers in Pasawa Forest. That is the main thing. You have not told him the main thing I want to leave. This is my Speak. What can I speak? I only speak to men who are willing to listen, not to recalcitrant ears. Happens. The best thing we can do now is to hope and pray that she returns in peace. Because we cannot travel to Diago in search of anybody if we try it. All of us will die. Leave my presence. What? <laughs> my prince, I... Let me actually brief you of what happened earlier in the palace. There was this maiden of this kingdom that came looking for you. Very beautiful maiden. Dressed to kill. She had all the ingredients of sex. Very succulent. You know, she came and was actually ready to stay with you. And I didn't allow her to see you because I... You wouldn't like what I would do to you if you don't get out of my sight. You know, then I eventually do my... Get out! my forest. I decide what happens. A bitch the cannot see. She is an impudent. Do what you know how to do best with her. Rep her till she dies. No, no. No, no, no. No. Oh. Ah. Oh.
I thought I was dreaming. Do you know where you are? Please. I'm on a journey to Ndiago. Ndiago Kingdom. I said to rest to continue my journey in the morning. Who gave you the right to spend the night in our sacred Ayulus forest? Answer. I beg to be forgiven. I actually noticed the sacredness of the forest at sunset when I came. It was due to the sense of sacredness and safety that I decided to spend the night here. Forgive me if I've broken any of your rules. But if you tell me now that what I did was wrong, I'll pick my things and I'll continue my journey immediately. We don't respect people that beg after. We respect people that beg before. You lost our respect when you decided to sleep in our sacred forest without our permission. Are you? I'm sorry. Please, I am very sorry. Please don't punish me. I saw no one when I came here. I beg you with the heart of an innocent person. I did no wrong. All I ask is for you to let me continue my journey and I'll be off. Please. No. Your pleading does not make any sense to us now. Are you ready to follow us or we are going to rape you now? No. Let her go. Oh, you face me. And who are you to interfere in the cause of Ayelo? Mm. Answer me. Thank you. I want to understand you clearly. Are you saying that there is not even one man that is ready to make any sacrifice for the prince? It is said, my prince, and that is the truth. They all declined when they heard of traveling to Aovu to look for anybody. They said the forest of Passover is deadly and nobody is ready to die. Are you included in that bundle you called nobody? Or are you ready to travel with me? Do you mean to say, my prince, that we are traveling so soon? <sighs> From what I understand, you are also not ready. No, my prince, just that I'm not ready. This matter just came up and you have not given anybody time to prepare. I give you all the time. See you in the morning. Are you asking me to leave? If you want to leave, you can leave. Better still. What? How long have you been standing here? I am just coming. And why are you here? I had a revelation that will interest the prince. Can I see him, please? Come with me. Come with you to where? I said I came to see the prince, and the prince is here in his heart. Are you asking me to come with you to where, Juan? It is clear you do not have respect for a man like me. And I'll prove to you that I'm in charge. Come and leave this place now. I said leave this place. Hey, but my, my, come, see, see, see. Don't you ever try and touch me. Don't you ever. On the condition that you are leaving this place now. Oh yeah, come and leave. Sure, my friend, don't touch me. Happy, happy birthday, 
beautiful maidens that walk in the palace. What you listen to is their special number. A beautiful birthday song they created as a surprise for your birthday. Everything is already set in the palace. And I'm pleading with you to step out so that the ceremony can start in earnest. <laughs> Please, your highness, we are waiting. Come out. What kind of useless question is that? Prince Iwunze of our awful kingdom is a noble man of this land. He doesn't sleep outside. I was with him last night and he told me he was going to sleep and I believe him. Maybe then you should knock on his door. Emuma. Emuma Kuhil. We should knock on his door. No, are you telling me that if you are asked to knock on his door, you'll actually knock on his door? As if you're not aware that he doesn't like anybody knocking on his door? Should we stand here forever? You have to, to, to check if the prince is inside. Come on, knock. Knock. Hmm. Me, I'll be very disappointed if the prince is not inside. Eh? It would only mean that we thank for ourselves. I will be too demoralized if that happens to be the case. Because we practically sang at our, our hearts here. Sang at your hearts here? Why, why are you people trying to become judges in your own court? Why? You learnt the song for the prince. Why can't you just wait for the prince to come and listen to your song and be the judge? What's your problem? Your Highness, can you please help us? And come out. Are you in there?
you are right. The prince is not in this palace. Just as you said, you sang and you danced for yourselves. So sorry. This is no good. But come to think of it, where would the prince be by this time of the day? It is possible he has gone to sleep with that girl in her house. Hmm. Hmm. I don't, sometimes I don't understand why the, the prince will see maidens like us. Look at how beautiful we are. And uh, maidens that are ready to lay down, the, lay down their lives for him. And he'll be going after a, a, a stranger. I don't know why. Hey? Hmm. How can you be saying that kind of a thing in this place? Oh. Have you forgotten that we're in the quarters of the coming king? Eh? Don't you know that the palace walls have ears? You don't have to caution her. Because she made a load of sense. Are we not look at us? Are we not beautiful? Are we not all pets? Are we not <laughs> beautiful than me? Like no, check us. Look at us. See, I'm out of here. We sang to an empty room. Okay. Love sends me on a journey to a land I do not know. I'm searching for the Who are you? Before you left your place, you knew that this journey was going to be risky and tough. And that's why you're here with a gun. But let me ask you, do you think that your gun can kill everything? Depends on the gun and who is shooting. Who are you? My name is Ubana. All my life I have made loads of sacrifices to benevolent travelers who travel across this forest. Do you think that you're going to be alive to see her in India go? It is clear now to me that you are not human. And I'm wondering what you want from me. But I tell you, I am the crown prince of our over kingdom. And the heir to the throne. So spirits cannot kill me. There are beautiful maidens in our world. More beautiful than she is. Why then do you insult your people by lusting after a stranger? She is not a stranger! You do not talk when I talk! If you provoke me here, I will not hesitate to kill you right here in this forest! I have been fortified by the powers of the Oracle of Eziebe. As such, you can do me nothing. You may have killed many, but I tell you, my life is hidden far beyond your reach. Let me go. <laughs> you know, I like the way you talk. But trust me, you have to start seeing me as a friend. Now, give me your gun. Give it to me. Why in this world would I hand you my gun? You are going on a mission for love. And men who travel on missions of love do not go with iron. Love is harmless. So you see, give me your gun. Give it to me. Well, I am going to leave you if you refuse to listen to my instruction. And you will fail. Ebeleno will definitely destroy you. And when that happens, Remember that you met the harmless Ubana. Give me the gun. Wait, wait. a man who trusts you with all his heart. 
have decided to trust you even when I don't know who you are. I will not betray you. As you embark on this journey, keep right to avoid entering the forest of Emule. Men of that kingdom are rapists. And when they rape you, you shall contact a disease that will kill you. Like I said, keep right. When you get to the forest of Persiwa, Ebeleno, the goddess of that forest, is going to seduce you. How you play alone determines whether you leave that forest alive. Wait, wait, wait! I... I don't understand. What do you mean how I play along? Are you... Are you suggesting I sleep with a goddess? I collected this gun from you because there are places I do not want you to pass. There in a gun. I shall give you when you need it. Trust me on this. How am I sure this one is not a goddess herself? I don't even know why I'm here discussing about a young man who has no respect. Is she your bella Do you realize you're talking about the crown prince of this kingdom? The heir apparent to the throne? Who is going to emerge as the king? This August, have you forgotten that? If he must emerge as king, then he will learn to treat seers of his land with respect and as noble men. He humiliated a seer. I'm just going to sit and watch how everything pans out. Well, I go. There is a way you are sounding, and it is very clear to me that you wish the prince bad luck. That's wrong. The thing I am telling you is that he humiliated a seer. And if care is not taken, he will be humiliated in Diago. Wait. Are you confirming to me that the prince has actually traveled to Ndiago? Exactly. Hey. He has gone to Ndiago to bring the one he loves. That he will come face to face with the spirit of death. If he finally triumphs over the evil in that forest, he will be humiliated in that ancient land. That I can also tell you. Is he traveling alone or is he with anybody? Well, the only problem I have with him is his own belief. But I will give it to him. It's a good word. Tough. Everybody refused to accompany him. Even you. Even you, what my lady. Oh, well, he has undertaken the journey himself. And I must tell you, that is a way of real warriors. No, are you blaming me now? Why are you blaming me? Why? I was here in your house last night and you frightened me with the things you were seeing. You said you were seeing death. No, how can a young man like me embark on a journey where this year was seeing death? Did I tell you or anybody that I'm planning to die now? Oh, Malinze. Oh, Malinze, if you love him like you profess, which I can see, then you must get me a spotless white ram. What? With that ram, I'll conduct certain sacrifices to clear his path. Or else, if you fail to do that, he will encounter death along the way. Can, can, can you even use it Why would this man embark on a journey like this without my consent? Oh, Malinze, we do not have time. Get me the ram. He will encounter the goddess of a billion eh? along the road. And if we do not perform the sacrifices and conclude with them, she will rape him. And with that rape comes death. Ebelenu is answering Ebelenu for nothing, for your information. She's the deadliest deity along that path. That I must tell you. You must act, you're just wasting time. From what I get from you so far, the prince has traveled to Indigo in search of my friend, right? Of course. Why did I invite me to the palace? Why are you pretending as if you don't know why I am inviting you? That's the truth. I don't know why you're inviting me to the palace. Okay. Let me break it down. The prince 
defied my advice and traveled to Ndiago of all places. We all know how deadly that Ndiago is. And from the little information I have about that deadly kingdom, that ancient kingdom, the prince may not come back alive. I am very much convinced that he's going to die there. So I want you to come to the palace so that we can start in time the plan of the possible life together. Possible life together? As what and what, please? Ah, ah. As man and wife. Is it because I've not been telling you? No. There is always the first time to start and I believe today is a very beautiful day to start. Each time I look at you, Ijoma, there is something about you that I have never seen in any woman in this land. And that is the reason why I... Ijoma can't be a bad woman. You have it. And I... I, I, I what a, can't you just bring it out again? Can you voice but tell me I'm not going to do I don't even know why two of you are bothered. The prince is the head of Ndag warriors. Other young men refuse to accompany him. And he decided to do it himself. That is the way of the warriors. And we shouldn't be bothered. I'm very, very sorry. Yes, I'm not. But you have not given us the confirmation we need. Eh? Are you trying to tell us that Prince has traveled to or all over? The golden eh? bracelet must be traced. And he knows the importance of it. That is why he has gone to get it. <laughs> my, my Chief Prince, this, this is not happening. Are, are you telling me that my, my, my Prince is going to pass through that Passover forest? <laughs> Forest of Passover is even the least of his problems. I, 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 don't, I don't understand what you mean, my, my chief priest. Are you saying we have more horrible things out there than the forest of Passover? The grave of that woman who bought a child with the golden bracelet is important. Finding the, the grave is a time that must engage the attention of the elders in council. Yes, and we'll just hear yourself. Just hear what you are talking about. I mean, what we, I mean, what shall we be doing in that grave? What shall we be doing in the grave? Find the location of the grave so that when she makes the demand for the mother's grave, it shall be easy for the elders in council. Samuel, you are still sounding too confusing. Eh? Who is this she that will be demanding for the grave of her mother? Eh? If I were you, I will not be asking questions. Suddenly, the maidens shall present bracelets and the prince will not even know the one he needs to save the land. The grave of that woman is important. So, Angini, eh? and why are you looking so, so worried? What, what, what is the matter? Mama, it has dawned on me that I've not been a good friend to my friend. I believe she's in danger in India. I want to go and look for her, Mama. So if you want to go and look for her, why don't you go and look for her? Why, why, why come to me? Mama, I believe you will know another way to Indiago, apart from the Pesera Forest. Now what makes you think so? I believe you can direct me, Mama. It's just a feeling. I just believe you will know. I know you are a prince and you have never killed anyone in your life. Shut that sword because you don't have what it takes 
to pull a sword against a man like me. Because I can kill you with that same sword in your hand. Shut the sword! I can see you know me. Why are you interrupting my movement? Is it because there are no maidens in Indiago that the prince has forced himself out of his palace in search of maidens? I am not traveling in search of maidens. There is something very important I need to trace. Something that can save my land. The golden bracelets. I can see you don't miss so much. Why? Please. Who are you? Two seers were invited before your father. One of them was a no nonsense man that told the king, your father, the truth that he never wanted to hear. That man was Isidienu of Onungene. He told your father that he was seeing things. The seer that was humiliated was my father. He walked out of the palace because he knew that your father, the king, never wanted to hear the truth. His colleague lied to the king. Because he knew that the king, your father, was a man who never wanted to hear the truth. Your father acted based on lies. Now, if you must know the truth about the golden bracelets, you must follow me. The prince is helpless without my daughter. He has traveled to Ndiago to meet with her. You're not, you're not serious, are you? That girl you just directed on a shortcut to Ndiago is not going after my daughter, as she claimed. She is flowing after the prince, for she has always wanted to seduce him. Imagine. unacceptable to me. Do I chase after her and bring her back here and give her the beating of her life and... She her must not sabotage my daughter's efforts. It will bring horror to her. She is free to follow after other men if she believes she will make headway with that. But warn her. Warn her not to tell lies against my daughter. But she will not like what I will do to her. Looking at you, I know you have experienced so many women. You see, I am here to make you an offer. Advance towards me and experience the neatest woman on earth. I will handle you like no other has ever did before. I already know you are a Beleni, the goddess of the forests of Pasewa, and the most beautiful goddess this part of the world. I know, I know you want us to be together, but I plead with you. I don't have what it takes to lay goddess. You're talking as if you have a choice. 
Listen, you do not have any choice at all. You must do what you do what? Or I will kill you here and bury you in a shallow grave. Don't dare me. I am fortified by the powers of Ezebe. Let us not fight to finish. I'm embarking on an important journey. Please let me go. Please. Why must you dare me? And what gave you the authority to kill the head warrior of the forest of Passover? And where did you get the power from to kill him? I killed him in self-defense because he would have killed me. Just let me go, please. I give you the last opportunity to do what I ask you to do. Else, you will face me And trust me, I shall be merciless and you. Come to me. Come to me. Come to me. You are scaring me with the way you are looking. What are you seeing? Is he in danger? Talk to me. Oh, my God. 
can't believe this. What did you do? What did you do? You told me to follow you so you can show me everything concerning the golden bracelet. And have I told you that I have changed my mind? Those are golden bracelets. But you must show me the very bracelet you're looking for. And from there, we will make progress. from my village and only you can tell me the truth and so our other medians none of them can lie to you now tell me where did you get these golden bracelets That I need to see her urgently now. Tell me, is she around? She packed a few of her things into a small bag and left. She refused to tell me where she was going. Just like that. Yeah. But is she going to be back very soon? I, I don't even know where she went to, so I can't say if she'll be coming back today. No, no, no. Mommy, Joma. What is it? Okay, that's okay. Is that how you train your own? Eh, Bongo you're asking me. Eh? Christian mother. So, Mogini, Nikini, no, no, no. Sechalapa. Packed her things. Put in there and you're saying, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, she has. She'll be back now. What kind of mother, uh, 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 mother are you? Eh? Yeah, she'll be back. She'll be back. Uh -huh. Well, do you know what I can do? No, no. She just packed her bags and baggages and took off. You don't know where, she, where she's going. You don't know where she's going to back. It seems like a little to have. You don't know where she's going to back. You don't know where she's going to back. You Good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon. How may I help you? Please, can you show me the way to the palace? Why do you want to go to the palace? I want to go to the palace because I believe that if I get there, I'll find someone that can help me trace my family. Your family? Yes, sir. Yes. Are you saying you are from this land? Yes, I am from this land. Now I know why my father did not listen to your father. Because your father failed to prove himself. That is exactly what you're trying to do. <laughs> he said, you know, <laughs> you have not convinced me. And I regret listening to you. <laughs> you would not have survived the demons and goddesses in Ayolo and Pasewa Forest. Locate what you are looking for, man, and stop playing the fool. I don't believe you. I don't believe you! Thank you. All of you! I'm disappointed in all of you that you all could walk with a stranger to deceive me. The prince of the land, none of these maidens 
is deceiving you and no one is deceiving you I have told you the truth and I am still telling you the truth and if you refuse to listen go to our oval and locate what you're looking for if you die in the process tell your father that Isi Dienu, the second of Onungene, warned you, but you refused to listen. I'm still trying to understand why the prince would pull a sword against harmless maidens. We did you a good song. And please, if you could just listen to us for just few minutes, I'm sure you would learn something from me. Today I confirm that our ancestors do not lie. Your father has appeared to me and told me you shall come. How it will happen, I never knew. Today you made your way into Indiago, and the first place you bring to ask questions is my house. It is a remarkable day, the memory I will cherish all the remaining days of my life. Please, are you confirming to me that you knew my father? Of course. Your father was Enebeli Okoyi. He was my brother, a noble man of this kingdom. This is awesome. This is awesome. You know my father's name. Enebeli Okoye. That's my father's name. You, you're my uncle for real? There is no man in the Agu that we claim he is a family member. If it's not, I am your uncle. My mother appeared to my foster mother. And she told my foster mother that I have a mission. But I, I do not know what this mission is. Your mother. Huh? She was a noble gift the gods gave to her family. Your father died defending the king. He practically worshipped him immediately after his death. The king took pregnant Onyinye to his palace and planned to make her his wife. That noble woman refused. The next thing we heard was she died in the palace. We all knew what happened. Killed her in anger. I don't understand. How did my foster mother know that my mother's name was Oye? To have called me the same name my mother bore. My name is Oye. The girls are wiser than us. Your brother will be happy to see you. My brother. Have a brother? Of course you have a brother. His mother died, and your father married your mother. He now lives in Abadan. He is one of the greatest young farmers we have here in Indiago. <laughs> I have a brother. I didn't know I have a brother. My goodness, this is so nice. I, I can't wait to meet him. I have a brother. Almighty sanctity test of Onedo. 
Who am I sure she will pass this test? That is the same question you would have asked yourself before leaving your place. You are taking the risk of your life to get the woman you love. How are you sure she would pass the test that will make her your wife and the queen of our of kingdom? <sighs> Who are you? My name is Omalo. Omalo sent me to give you this. <sighs> this is magical. Do you work for her? It doesn't matter who works for who. The important thing is that she promised to give you the gun when you need the gun. And that is what she has done. If you continue with her for the rest, you will likely be in that way in the morning. That is better than resting. This forest is evil. Wait! Wait! Um. Do you know if she will pass this test? She will first accomplish the mission of the Golden Bracelet. That is the mission that will shake the foundation of Endago. When that mission is accomplished, she can take a decision for you. Let her remember what Obana has promised. mission of the golden bracelet. What mission could this possibly be? <coughs> Ezemua was very clear on this. He said we must trace the exact spot where that woman was buried. Where if you have why are you dragging us back? I told you I met a seer. And he told me that the golden bracelet is in this kingdom. I so why are you dragging us back? I don't know who the seer is. But whoever it may be, I do not believe him. Why? Our Tolu already told us that he did not kill the child. Yes. He didn't kill the child, but gave her away to a woman that migrated to Awov with her. Why would you allow someone to tell you that the golden bracelet is here in our kingdom and you believe him? Apart from the fact that the woman told him she's from Awovo, what else does he know about the woman? It is possible. It is very possible that the woman smuggled the child into this kingdom. I want us to be matured. We should be matured. That is what I want us to do. To be matured and follow up on, 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 on the words of seers. Because they see what we do not see. We should take them seriously. Yes. I think I see your point. But it has not watered down the advice from the chief priest. Bam. It is possible the bracelet is buried in the grave of the woman your father killed. How dare you? How dare you say such rubbish to me? It is not rubbish. So what is it? It is something you know yourself. Your father killed the woman because she refused to be his secret wife. We are not doing on that now because we cannot move faster than the gods and the ancestors. I am thinking we must find the grave. Uche, now you tell me. You tell me, where is the grave? Where is that grave? Uh, uh, I think the best thing we should do now is to engage the services of your seer. How, how do we get him? It is possible he will be able to tell us the location of the grave. Ufere, you are right. I agree with you. His name is Isidienu. 
from Onungen. Yeah? Is it the only you said? Yes. Hi! This is serious. I know Isidielu of Onungele. He is a gracia that took after his father. If Isidielu is the one that told you what you have said, then I believe you. Yes. Ah, ah. Isidielu is half man, half spirit. Uh, what I get from your submission is that you have agreed for us to send for Isidienu to come and tell us the location of the grave. Odua! Isidienu! Bia! Ewe! Isidienu, Diego! Are you the one with the golden bracelet? Golden bracelet? What do you mean by, am I the one with the golden bracelet? Okay. Who are you and where are you coming from? My name is Ijoma. Okay. I am from Awovo. Yes. I actually took the short track of Umezu. Umezu. I came into this village to see a friend of mine. You have a friend in this kingdom? Um, is that friend of yours a male or a female? I mean, a man or a woman? Please, sir. If you don't mind, I have already asked. And they have directed me to the person I came to see. Please, if you don't mind, eh? I need to go, please. please. Don't be offended. Thank you. Are you sure she's not the one we're looking for? I'm, I'm, I think it's no, no. Looking at this woman, it is clear that they, they, she has been used behind closed door by those heartless hour of men. My prince, do you want to leave those beautiful maidens of our land and think of a life with this visible, depressed woman that is walking freely at the kingdom? I guess you don't know her. You don't know her, you've never seen her before. Then why don't you speak evil of her? My friends, I have seen her. And I can judge from what I have seen. This girl is not near any woman you're looking for. She's not a woman. I'm telling you that. But you don't know her. My friends, trust me, trust me, this is not the woman. I brought her to you because I know you'll be happy to see her. More than happy. I once had a revelation where my father told me that she will return. And that is when the mission will commence. She said she's back for a mission. You're almost saying the same thing. What mission is that? Should we stand here and talk? This is my sister. <laughs> I've never met. And she's here before me. Oh, my ancestors, this calls for celebration. And I'm up to it. In that case, I will leave you to entertain your sister. I will see you tomorrow. Amiche, you can stay here with us. Hopefully, you knows I cannot do that. I must sleep in my house. Free free in your brother's house. I will see you tomorrow. Thank you. Right. You mean he's going to walk back that distance? Oh yes, he would. We're well, used to it. It's, it's, it's the way of life here. I bet you, Ishiro Zoba will be in his house before you finish your dinner. Is the shutter away? Of course there is, but very, very dreadful. Now come on, let's go inside. Let's go inside. 
I can feel it. Danger locks around. I can feel your presence. Show yourself. Show yourself. Who are you? What do you want from me? Speak. I don't know who you are, but if you come any close to me, I am going to shoot you. Do you remember what Ubana told you about guns? What she said was her opinion. Don't come close to me. <coughs> This is the sacred forest of Ayelu, where we reign as potentate. We gave you the right to spend the night without permission mm. in our forest. This is the first time I'm hearing that I, I need permission to spend the night in a forest. This man here has a link with that evil woman that made us blind yesterday. Mm. We should not be talking with him. Don't push me. This is not an ordinary gun. It is saturated with the powers of Ezebe by my father. You may be ghosts or anything. But I'm telling you, I am going to kill you. On one condition, that you must allow. I, I allow you to do what? Wait. Are you the red piece you spoke about? Don't come any further near me. Don't. Don't! I want you. One more step from you and you will join him. Don't come any further. Do you understand exactly what the mission is? You mean to tell me that you traveled through the evil forest of Pesewa and Ayolo to come back here and you still don't know what the mission is? I was told that when I get here, I will get to know what the mission is. Okui, you sound like you know what the mission is. What is it? The mission is to avenge the wickedness is a Denzel method upon our family. That king did such great wickedness to our family. And there's nothing wrong if we make him feel the pain. Get him to feel the pains, you say? I hear the man is dead. Yes, you might say he's dead. But his evils are yet to be punished. Until his evils are punished, then we can say he's dead. Our father died in his hands. And the only compensation that he could give him was to take his pregnant wife, your mother, into his palace. She eventually died. He killed her because she would not allow him to have his way with her. Every night, their blood cries for justice. I am, I am, I am, I am, I am, I am, I 
Would it be possible that you you got a wife for yourself and you did not tell me? You might need basic for him. What is you? Who are those people that finish all the wine? Tell me. I am. I am. She's not my wife. And I'm yet to be married. In Asiasi. Then you then then you go and marry her because she's beautiful. You go don't want me. Hey! I don't want me. I don't want me. I know you too well. Why pulling my legs? Because she's more beautiful than all our median in this town. Yeah, she look good. Do you know? I can see the mark of royalty on her forehead. That is what I'm saying. I am one. I am one. She is my sister. A cousin in here now come with him. Jello, jello, jello. Open the cousin in here. Why? I know you very. Why pull my legs? Why you getting a dollar more for the man and you don't look at that? Hey man, need a drink. Why you why pull my legs? I know you very well. Okay. Yeah. You don't have a sister. I know that. I know that. So that don't have a sister. So I thought. Until she traced her way back here. Her name is Oyinye. The daughter of beautiful Oyinye. That woman that my father married after my mother died. Hey. Can you imagine? Ezio Denze declared her evil from birth and commissioned his chief executioner to kill her because she was born with a golden bracelet on her wrist. Hey. She survived by the single act of the gods and her ancestors. But today, she's back to me. And this is the happiest moment of my life. Oh, I want to jig and be yo. I came to bear for a tube of yam. But what I am seeing here is more than. It's more than Ofumbaji. Oh, we man now. It's more than, more than a yam. Ne. Hey! Can't you wait a minute? Who will do you? Oh, you want to? Hey! Meme. Hey! Who will go? Ne. I will have a long gap. Oh, we. No, 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 you are welcome back to your roots. Yeah, Ben Nalu. Don't mind me, I'm here, John. Hey, I am in Ami Jaja. I'm not one. And we will name him. I am. Won't you have the yam again? But let me prepare it. Okay, I'm now. I'm now. Are you sure this man is not a troublemaker? You told him everything about me. No. He's no troublemaker. I am always the great man in this kingdom. Yes, many might call him a drunkard. But there's something about Ayanwu that is outstanding. Ayanwu can fight and give up his life in defense of the truth. I think he said, you know, he's a weird man. But my prince, that is the truth. He said, you know, he's very weird. But why, why did you say that? He was able. He was able to gather all the ten meetings in one particular place. And they were dancing. They were dancing for me. He asked me to make a choice. Yes. He asked me to make a choice. <sighs> he almost succeeded. Yes, sincerely, he almost succeeded. And I was looking at all the meetings. I was looking at them. And they were far better from what they were 
in the first procession. Yes, they were. Looking very beautiful. God. But, 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 what I get from your submission is that you will eventually pick a wife from the selected maidens. And that is what Isidino plan to achieve. So start to forget about that intruder from Aruvu. Because she will never be your wife. The topic here is Isidino and his powers. Why then did you bring the topic of that girl again? Isidin is a man from Onongene. Why is he dabbling in what we do here? That is my concern. But, but, my, my prince, he once told me himself that his father saved your father. So it's possible he wants to serve you. Look, I'm joking, I'm not much. I have a message for you. So if you allow me to drink, I, I'll tell you. Hold on. Just hold on. Wait. Let me drink before I say anything. The woman you marry has arrived. Mm -hmm. Meaning you're going to marry tomorrow. And I'll be the chief negotiator. And what is this fool talking about? What is he talking about? Hey! Listen to me. I am talking about Onyinye. Onyinye? The child that was born with the golden bracelet. I'm If I'm talking out, telling the truth. She was born with the golden bracelet. The one your father condemned from birth. The one he commissioned, I will tell you to go and kill. But I will tell you. Check out. I'm going to go and kill you. What's up? What's up? What's up? Oh, hey! Okay, I'm going to go and kill you. I'm going to go and kill you. I'm going to go and kill you. The one he commissioned, I will tell you to go and kill. But I will tell you to fail to kill. She is back in the kingdom. Mm -hmm. Yes. She is back in the kingdom. Yeah, come. When I opened my inner eyes, you see me? I need to go to China. Are you seeing anything? I'm doing what I'm seeing. When I opened my inner eyes, I saw the mark of frailty on her forehead. She is back in the kingdom. I tell you again, get prepared. You're marrying tomorrow. <laughs> yes, not my uncle. Not my uncle. I don't want to. I don't want to. I need to know how to do it. You might drink a lot. No, it's just. You're holding me, so I'll be firm. That's this girl we met. Um, a stranger. Yes. She told us her name. Um, was it your man? And she's from him. Um, Awovo. Yes, Awovo. Could she be the same girl you're talking about? Uh, my prince, I've started to understand that that Ijoma of is a debased woman. The wickedness and immorality are all written all over her. That girl will never emerge as the queen in this land. Wait, I don't, I don't understand what you people are talking about. See, I don't know what you people are talking about. Wait. Who is it, John? Who is this John man that you are talking about? I don't know. This is John man that has created a wrong impression upon herself the very first time you people met with her. Eh? The person I'm talking about is Oyinye. Oyinye? Hey, well, 
you know, the one I saw the gold, the, the, the mark of reality on her forehead. I will come and you. Get prepared, you're getting married. Hey! I don't I'm going to go for him. I'm not going to He was at this age. You're going to You're going to Ophelia, could this be true? Uh, could this be true? But, but, but why are you so excited? Why would I be excited? Are you out of your mind? Why would I be excited? Are you one of the people that don't trust Anyahu because he drinks every day? A drunkard. I trust him. Absolutely, I trust him. Did you hear what he told us? Did you hear him? He said his inner eyes were open. And he saw, listen, he saw the mark of royalty on her forehead. It means our ancestors spared her life just because of me. Yes, because of me. Possibly. That thing. That was the same thing I have not been seeing in other meetings. <laughs> I'm excited. I'm excited. <laughs> Why are you looking at me like that? Um, my name is Ijoma, and I'm looking for a man named Ezoba. See, now I see that all they were saying, everything, everything is finished. Everything is finished. Does it mean people do not have respect for strangers in this village? Eh? And what do you mean by everything is finished? <clears throat> Are you asking me? You are asking me, she? You are asking me. See, I don't know why you're looking for Ezra Bao. I don't know. <clears throat> eh. But all I know is that. All I know is that you are mad away from Oye. Oye? Um, see, leave that one. Listen to me. Hmm? Just walk straight down. Straight down. Hmm? Go hmm? Go to. Hmm? Take us straight. Take us straight. Hmm? Straight down, 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 down. The first house by the left. The first house by the left. Hmm? Is Ezoba's house. You better be fast because since Obama is still I'm very sure he's still outside. Hmm? Um, please, tell me what you know about Oye. Please. This girl. Okay. This girl. Okay, um, have you seen her in this village today? Yeah! But you all had you be good. See? As I'm looking at you, I'm seeing that you're, you came with evil mind. As I'm looking at you. See, listen, let me tell you something though. Yeah. Hey. Listen, let me tell you something. Hmm? I saw the mark of royalty on her forehead. Are you listening to me? And you know, when I look at you, I see a woman. I see a woman. I see a woman. I see a woman that came with selfish heart. You. But let me warn you. What I want to get can warn you. Let me warn you. Let me 
的话语，你得放心。Greed， 嗯 ，Greed，Greed Greed is is a very big sin in this town. Greed is a very big sin in this town. Let me advise you. So be, so be, fuchang bolang agin ayam. So be, fuchang bolang agin ayam. For me to have left my house and come to Onungile to see you this night, we make you understand that this matter is very, very serious. Isidielu, I know you very well, and I know you can help us to trace the exact position of the grave. You are concerned because the chief priest has asked you to trace the grave. But I tell you this night that the issue supersedes tracing the grave because she's already in your kingdom. What are you talking about? Who is this she that is already in the kingdom? Eh? Uh, wait a minute. Could she be possibly be the same girl we saw earlier at the square? The one you saw is Ijoma. She is here on her own agenda. Her mission has nothing to do with the land. You see, the who then are you talking about? Who? The same child that Awutolo spared. Her name is Onyinye. And I can tell you, she is already in your land. Her personality supersedes the grave of her mother. I... <laughs> I want to understand you very clearly. Are you saying that the same child that was delivered with golden bracelet is already in the land? And she was not the same we saw. The one you saw is Ijoma. We are talking about Onyinye. And she is not an evil child. The golden bracelet is a tool of vengeance handed over to her by Enebelu Okoye. My father wanted to explain this to the king, but the king ordered him out of his presence. He even accused him of not being a seer. That child, I must tell you, is a full-grown woman with the charms and charismas of a queen. You men that sit in council <laughs> must learn to deal with the anger in their hearts. It's greater than finding the grave anger in their hearts. What do you mean? She has a brother and she has found that brother of hers. They are the ones that are angry. Deal with that anger before it explodes to vengeance. And if you still want to find the grave, her brother will lead you because he knows where his father was buried. And the woman too. Good night. Isidiel, what is the name of her brother? Abalaiza, you have enough information in your hand. Work with that information. Good night. I don't know who you are looking for. But we know that two women entered in Diago yesterday. One entered in the afternoon and the other at night i don't know who you are looking for please can you can you tell me where i can find these two women that entered in diago yesterday are you sure that one of them is the one you're looking for no no i haven't said i'm sure i just want to see both of them if it happens none of them is the person i'm looking for then i will continue my search well the one that entered in the afternoon went to Ezoba's house and I'm sure she slept there. The one that entered at night, I don't know where she slept. Um, I'm sorry. 
Who is this Ezoba and, and where can I find him? Ezoba. Ezoba is a man of this village. We call him Ezoba Okoye. If you move further down, you see some farmers by the road. Down here? Down there. Ask them. They will direct you to Ezoba's house. And when you get there, Ezoba will be in a better position to tell you the particular person that slept in his house. Thank you very much. You're welcome. I appreciate it. Thank you very much. Thank you. Farewell, brother. Thank you. I was not able to sleep last night. I kept having this bad feeling that the prince may have been devoured by any of the too many wild beasts along that bush path leading to Ndiago. I, 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 I don't understand. And so what will you do if he is no more alive? Ishiobelago, please. Do not tell me that the prince is dead. Because that news will be too heavy for me. <laughs> so when next the prince decides to embark on a journey to Santiago, let him come to me first. And I will guide him through avoiding the deadly evil forest along the path. What? I can't believe this. Are you telling me we have friendlier? and shorter route to Ndiago that you know. Why didn't you tell me that night I came to make inquiry from you? Hmm. Oh, my Lindsay. You see, when a man decides to embark on a journey to better his life, it is not for you to tell him things that will make him believe that success is easy. You see, the beautiful things of life are hidden in thorns. It's only cheap things you see everywhere cheap things. Do you know as we talk now that there's a maiden from this land who is presently in Ndiago. A journey of 30 hours took her just five hours. She went through Muizu. You know what? I, I don't want to discuss that. The maiden is on her own. <laughs> it's not a business. I am bothered about the prince who is entrusted under my care. And I want to find out from you. Are you confirming to me that the prince is alive and is in Indiago as we speak? Oh, Malinza, I'm afraid there is a grand conspiracy to disgrace him in Indiago. Really? He will regret ever embarking on that journey. From one problem to another. And been so designed that he'll be pitched against many enemies, too numerous. As I say it. Having listened to you, I believe you value in your mother and your own life. That is very remarkable. Now, can you tell me why you are looking for her? I am looking for her because I want to make her my wife. I love her very much. Fine, there, there are many maidens in my place, however, but I found in her something I never saw in any of those maidens. I actually proposed to her, but she didn't give me any reply. She left because of the complications she has in this land. And I believe she has come here to take care of those complications. I want to be part of our problems. I, I want to share in it. Please. That is why I followed her to this image. I can't believe this. What are you doing here? How, how did you find your way here? Every single thing the rat pulls off. It's what the rabbit takes for granted. Huh? 
I am disappointed at the points of Awavu. It's throwing all those insults on the maidens of Awavu. What insult are you talking about? I have arrived to fight for my friends. And you are hey. that prince. And I am willing to do anything just to have you. You are the one at the center of those hearts. And I'm going to do anything to have you where I want you to be. You, sorry, don't listen to her. I, I don't know what she's talking about. I don't have an idea what she's saying. Fine, she's a maiden of my kingdom, but I don't have anything to do with her. I, I, I don't know what she's up to. I don't know what she's talking about, okay? I, I don't I don't I don't have an idea what she's doing. Believe me. She already told me how she abandoned her in the forest. How she made her way to Ndiago using Umu's a shortcut. I am more concerned about the risk you took. <laughs> what what risk? When you're doing what's it that we do? Yeah, I was told. I, I know. But the love I have for Onye is stronger than all those forces put together. I want to set my eyes on her. I, I love her so much. I, I want to know why she didn't give me a response before coming here. That is why I have come. Please, sir. I'm begging you. If you know where she is, could you just tell me or take me there? Please. I am happy you can take this risk for the one you love. You may wait here. I will send words to her. If she decides to see you, I will fix up a meeting between both of you. Oh, thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Anything, anything you can do to, to, to make her see me, I beg you. Thank you. I am. Listen to me. Even as I agree, you are a drunk. You are not drunk now because this is morning. Why are you holding this kingdom ransom? I went on Nungele last night, and Isidu told me that the woman is already in this kingdom. Now, the crown priest and Ufele are confirming that you came to the palace last night saying that you have seen the woman. Why are you very, very unwilling to show us on how we can meet with this woman? I am not going to be part of anything that is going to fail. I already volunteered to render my services as the marriage negotiator between the prince and the median. His father almost got killed. Yes. You must tell me that you marry this one before I say anything oh, here. Listen to me, Ayo. If you continue linking my father to evil in this kingdom, I might be forced to kill you. Mm -hmm. We're discussing about something very important here. And you're here, pointing accusing fingers on my father. Yeah. Now tell us, where is this girl? You met him, Gin? Yeah? You met him, Gin? him? I'm not going to tell you anything until you tell me that you're going to marry her. You, you, you're the one wasting your time. Anyahu. You're the one wasting your uh, Listen to me. We do not add Pepe to eye drop. Uh, hey. The prince cannot agree to marry a woman he has not seen. He cannot agree. But I want you to understand that I know exactly everything I'm doing. Because he has been he has been rejecting. Rejecting all the median. Yeah? But this one. But this one. I insist that he must marry. I insist this one. 
Because, do you know why I insist? Do you know? I don't. Do you know why I insist? Because I looked at her and my inner eye opened. Hey! Okay, the When I opened my inner eye, I saw the mark of royalty. Hey! Hey! Mark of royalty on her forehead. He must promise me that he will marry this one. He get kuku mu pane ya no. Anya o. Must promise that. Anya o. This one. Anya o. If I say anything, I promise. I promise that I'm going to marry her. Royalty. Mumu git. As you. Ogala mumu git. That the mark of royalty. Mumu git. Is on her forehead. Mumu git. As you alleged. It is not alleged though. Kangu pa ge zuo. It is not alleged. In a hajja tango wa ya fucha ya ne nem. Odogwa alesh. I saw her. And I saw the mark. The mark who? Hey! Anya, where is she? Where is this girl? She's with her brother. Huh? Brother? Yeah. Brother. Yeah. I have verified the history of this girl. And I was told she has no brother. Who is her brother? You know why you? Who told you that she has no brother? She has a brother. I'm with one then. His name is Okudere of Abadan, one of the greatest young farmers in India. I say, hold! Hey, hey, Okudere, behave yourself. Don't you see that for once? I think I know who you are talking about. Before the median interrupted, I already see him as a great man. He had the aura of a king. You're right, Uncle. His name is Iwunze. He's the crown prince of our over kingdom and the heir apparent to the throne. You mean he traced me here? He is in my house as you speak now. I didn't want to bring him in because I needed to be sure you want to see him. Can I go and bring him now? No. I'd rather go with you, Uncle. Iwunze has shocked me. How can he take this risk? I have to go, my brother. The person uncle speaks of is a great man. I have to go and see him now. You are free. Go and come back with him. I will. I'm ready, uncle. Let's go. I would have wished my sister to be married in Indiago. I don't know what I'll have to do with this prince from Awuvu. Madam Azod, you know, I am doing everything possible to understand why you are this excited. Hey, the prince himself is in love with my daughter. That's why I am very, very happy. I'm very, very happy. How am I sure you are not the one that made this evil sham that is confusing the prince? Hey, no, I did not. You know, he is very much in love with my daughter. If not, why would he take the risk? Of chasing my daughter all the way to to that village, if he's not genuinely in love with my daughter. You know what I'm about me? I'm used to getting to the root of almost everything, and I'm going to get to the root of this one. And God punish you. God punish you that I get to the root of this one, and I find out you are the one that made this evil sham that is manipulating the prince. Oh my goodness! I am going to make this kingdom to become very small for somebody like you. Hey, but Una. Assuming you find out that <laughs> I am not the one making the charm, what are you going to do about it? Tell me. When that time comes, I will have an answer for you. Oh, Vinas, I'm a Oh, Vinas, I'm a man. Love sends me on a journey To a land I do not know I'm searching for Nene Queen of my heart I love her so I will swim a river Just for you Climb the highest mountain To be with you Roam 
the tickets for us Won't you know you're the best There's nothing I won't do To be with you To be with you Your love has captured me All for you I will roam the f Let me make something clear here That I'm not afraid of any of you I, Okudeli of Abalan Is not the type of man that can be easily intimidated By fake royal aura Look, you must first of all tell me why you're looking for my sister. Before I tell you where she is. Then if you're not ready to tell me, you can as well sleep here. Stay here. in this kingdom and that is why we are here to solve it yes. should we start fighting oh, wait, wait, wait. did you hear him did you hear the rubbish that came out of his mouth who is he who is he to stand before me and say such rubbish that i came here with fake royal aura who is he listen i will say it again and again and even again what can be expected there's nothing that. you can do oh, oh. there's nothing you can do yes, even what my father served your father. Yeah, hey. He died defending your own father. Listen, the enemy Arada was meant to kill your father. Hit my father and he died. My father saved your father because he practically worshipped the king. Tell me, what compensation has your family given to my family? Tell me! Okay, 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 listen to me. You are digging up an old wound, okay? And that is not good for us here. Okay? You call this an old one. Let me tell you something. That thing that happened is still fresh in my memory. Still very fresh in my memory. And if, if I don't, what are you doing here? Looking for the same girl that you condemned. Wait, 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 wait. I think I have to come in here. I'm supposed to be the person to open this topic. Whereas I told you people that I will lead the mission. But you people were letting someone to, to open this topic. Don't Just make your point. Now, see what is causing. Yeah? Now, let me ask. Do you love fat in I'm a joke. What are you? Who is the single in law? What do you mean by in law? There is a mark on her forehead. When I looked at her, I saw the mark. And that mark means only one thing. The mark of royalty. We are here, the mark of royalty. And we are here to start the process. He has promised me that he's going to marry her. And that is going, he's not going back. That is why we are here. Yes. Hey. Hey, honey. Oni, daughter of Oni, daughter of Enebeli Okoye. Hey, woman, they come. She is the child that was supposed to be killed, but she did not die. Do you know why? Abalanza, do you know why? The, yes, yes. Because she has the mark of royal on her forehead. She is your wife. I learned you are the most powerful seer in Onungene. And there is this information I want you to help me with. What is it that the prince sees in me each time he looks at me? He sees a beautiful woman. Oh, yes. You are beautiful. Even your enemies are helpless at this truth. 
Because you are beautiful. Thank you. But I am not more beautiful than others. I mean, beauty is certainly not the attraction. I believe there is something hidden in mystery. And, and please, I want you to tell me about it. The time is coming when the prince will beg you to marry him. That is not possible. I have been the one doing everything possible to make him see me as his bride. How can he possibly beg me? How? If you believe that Isidienu the second of Onungen is a seer, then you should believe me. The very center of attraction shall be withdrawn and your interest will evaporate. The prince will beg you to be his bride, but you will not have the motivation to say yes. And when this happens, you shall remember. Can the prince really beg me? Oh God. I can't wait to see this happen. I'm Ijoma. I'm a lady from Awovo. Um, I was told you are the maiden that is closest to the heart of the prince. The prince of your land, I mean. See, there's something I needed to know. To me now, where are you taking your brother's children to? It's me, Ezoba, talking. Eh? Please, hold on and listen to us. What is it? Please. Eh? We have to settle this. Onye, now I know why I will totally spend your life. You belong to the palace. Onye, please marry me. Marry me and save my kingdom. I am saying this before everybody. Please. I need to visit the grave of my parents. That is the only way I can know exactly what to do. He's very serious, please. Oh? Very, very serious. Hold me. Uh, I am disappointed. You mean to say that despite my father's huge sacrifice to this kingdom, neither the prince nor the elders in council know where my parents were buried? You all still need the help of his son, my own brother to show you where my father was buried. I am disappointed. Very disappointed. Um, <clears throat> oh, goodly. In a time like this, you are the only one to help us in this kingdom. Yes. I believe you know the locations of both graves. Please, please lead us to the graves. Please, tell me why you would have me to lead you to my parents' grave. Yes, uh, your sister here has given us a tough condition. She's the only one that has consumed the heart of the prince. The prince has made a proposal to her. And we need this marriage to serve this kingdom right before you. She said that she must know the position and the place of her parents' grave before she will say anything. Please, please lead us to those graves. Please. please.
Okay, I'm going to go for two more. We are begging you. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Let's go. Be going in line, I'm the one leading. Okay, I'm not going to be wearing jacket like monkey. Move, let's go. Move. Can you, mommy? Move. Love sends me on a journey to a land I do not know. I'm searching for Nine, queen of my heart. I love her so. I am surprised that a maiden has entered into your kingdom with the sole intention of charming your prince and you're doing nothing about it. You are wrong for saying we are doing nothing about it. Because I myself, I do not know of the arrival of any maiden. So, I don't know. Her name is Oye. She's already in this kingdom. And I can tell you, she has a very strong wand. Once your prince sees her, you would become history. Yes, you would become history. She would consume his heart. And he would be thinking of only her. Miss Lee, I don't understand what you're talking about. I don't. Both of us are in the same dilemma. She caged my man. And I am here to reclaim him. Yes, I am here to reclaim him. If you do nothing about it, she will cage your own man. I think we can stop her. What are, what are we going to do? I planted this tree. This is my father's grave. Sister, this is where your mother was buried. Mission starts now. If you can pick the golden bracelet from my father's grave successfully, then you are the man I'll say yes to immediately. Will I be Muki? Uh, Please, please. Wait. Don't do it. I know your mind is made up, but don't do it. Why? She's the one for me. And I'm ready to do anything to help her. Can I talk to you in private? Follow me. I'm, I'm a lanzi. And you? Why are you following us about as if you are from this land? I think you have overstayed the welcome. So start going back to your kingdom. I'm not going anywhere without her. She's the woman I love. Did anybody just hear the circulate from this intruder? Who are you to say that? That you are not leaving this land without the woman my prince wants to marry? If you listen to me, leave this man alone. It's never a problem. Good. Leave him alone. Your father unleashed extreme wickedness on that family. If you look at that Okudle, you will understand that they are still very angry. This blood is for your destruction. And I want you to see it. She gave her word. 
She gave her word that if I can collect the golden bracelet from that grave, she's going to marry me. And I, Obaka, can do it. Obaka, let me be very, very sincere with you. If you step on that grave, the spirit of that man will kill you immediately. Yes. All right. I now know that you love this man. Trust me. I am going to figure out a way to make her your wife. You are the crown prince of this kingdom. I don't want to lose you. I don't want you to die. Uh, oh, yeah. I respect you. I want to know specifically what your plans are. Good. We are going to make a wide consultation to avoid making a mistake. I am going right there to dismiss this meeting. Follow me. Um. <clears throat> I'm not going to allow this to continue. Because it is not in line with the customs and traditions of our people. The prince has seen the woman he loves. And he has proposed to her. I expect her to consider the proposal from the point of view that it came from a crown prince. His status as prince does not move me. He has to prove to me that he is man enough. I am man enough. Then go on. Step forward. Pick up the bracelet from my father's grave. If you succeed, that will only prove to me that you are the man I should say yes to. Don't. Don't. He has taken it. She is the maiden I love. That's why I took the risk to travel all the way through the forest of Pesewa and Ayolo to come here and seek her. I love her and I want to make her my wife. She was born here but you condemned her because she has a mark of royalty. She was nurtured in my kingdom, Awovu. That mark of royalty represents that of my kingdom. And I want to marry her. Let me marry her. Unye. Please, say yes to me. The prince, the prince is walking a tightrope on Indiago. What does that mean? What, what could that mean? You have been weak since morning. Can you tell me what the problem is? I, I, I have this feeling that the prince is not well where he is. Why would you say that? You know, there was... There was this thing the, the seer asked me to do for the prince. That is to go and lay down in the in the grave of the late king and pray for the prince. That that to me is necromancy. The act of communicating with the dead. And I I I I, I, I don't want to do a thing like that. But the result now is that I have a feeling that the prince is not okay. And I'm trying to encourage myself because. I want to set out on a journey to Diago in search of the prince. Seriously. Sometimes when you talk, I begin to wonder if you believe that this life has a duplicate. Do you? And what do you mean by life has a duplicate? What, what, what are you talking about? The prince is a blind man. 
That's why you could not see any of the maidens in this palace or even in this kingdom. I will not allow you to go and die because of a blind man. I will not. No. Is this possibly why you seduced me? Can, okay. You want to start to control me? You want to turn me against the prince? I never seduced you. Don't say this outside that I seduced you. I never did. Because they will never believe you. Even the prince, if he finally survives from the terror and they are going to represent, he will never believe you. The truth is that you took advantage of a meeting placed under your care and that shows you not what it's made. I can't, I, can't, I can't believe this. Have you forgotten what happened? That I was here seated on my own and you came in here and practically forced yourself on me? And you took me. Remember, you removed your clothes yourself, remember? You had the option of ordering me out of your presence, but you didn't do that. You compromised your status as a palace keeper and took a maiden. You started a relationship and it remained like that. And if you try to do anything else, I'll ruin your life. Good day. Good day. Hey! You are talking me, Gunisio. Hey, woman. I did this evil. This girl was the one that seduced me. And now she's trying to use, use it against me. She will ruin my life. Hey. My prince. Did you hear the submission from that animal? That idiot! That he must leave this kingdom with that same woman you want to marry. How else do you want to understand that he's the one confusing that maiden? <sighs> Feli, I cannot do this. I know you want me to approve the assassination of that young man. No, this is unbelievable. It's unbelievable, my prince. Why are you behaving like a chicken? This is the only woman you have agreed to marry so far. And there's somebody out there, one intruder, confusing this woman, my prince. Why don't you want us to kill this intruder and have the, 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 the maiden to yourself, my prince? My father killed many people. And that is the confession I'm facing today. I don't want to kill anyone. I don't want to shed any blood like my father. No, my parents. Your father shared the blood of our own people. That was wicked and unacceptable. This is a total stranger. His blood means nothing to us, my prince. My prince, why are you not willing for us to kill this intruder? And you're telling me you want to be a king, my prince. Just give me the go ahead. And this is done, my prince. I'll get it done. I'll kill this intruder, my prince. Nesienu ofuada, ofuada mgoro nanya. Nesienu ofuwa, ofuwa neju.
grief is too sad to know that you're in love with my niece. I will try my best to make her yours. Oh, I, I will be eternally grateful to you if you do that for me. Honestly, I love her very much. Already, maidens of Awov, where I come from, they are angry with me because I, I chose to love a stranger over them. But she's the one I love. She's, she's not a stranger to me. She, she means the whole world to me. Do you know what would have happened if that prince had stepped his feet onto that grave to collect that golden bracelet? No. He would have died instantly. Had it been it happened, he would have been the only one remaining. I still do not know why your boyfriend your balance stopped him. Um, are you sure Obuifia Balanze is not part of the elders who planned to wipe out the family of your brother? No, he was not part of it. I can vouch for him. Obuifia Balanze was not part of the king's cabinet then. I, I, I don't know why I have this, this funny feeling that he may have been compromised. Look at it. There was a plan to bring about justice. And he interrupted that plan. Does that tell well of a man you hold in high esteem as a man of justice? Men of justice don't interfere in the course of justice. Think about it. If I have to take you to our Wuvu, we will never pass through the evil forest. I'll have to take you through the shortcut of Umezu. But my problem is, I will not want you to return to Awof. Why? Why? That means you want me to marry the prince. That will not be easy for me, my brother. How can I marry a man whose father killed my parents? It is very possible that that's what father would have wanted you to do. Yes. Listen, my dear. By the time you are married to him, then you will have the opportunity to slowly kill him. Slowly kill him and then become a widow? That will not be good for a young woman like me. There are other men in this land who would eventually come for you. You are still new in this kingdom. And not so many people know you here. By the time you spend a couple of months here, I guarantee you, there will be a long line of suitors seeking your hand in marriage. And all you need to do is make a choice. Do you have anything against the Prince of Awovo? My dear, my, my, my only problem, my only problem is I would have preferred my sister to be married here. Come on, think about it. You were raised in Awovo. It would be nice if you were married here. That means if I decide to marry the Prince of Awovo, I will not have your support. Why shouldn't I? If it turns out to be that's the man that you've chosen, that's the one you love, <laughs> what should prevent me from supporting you? My dear, your happiness is important. I am going to speak now because if I remain silent, we may continue to beat about the bush. Right. The truth is that there is a problem. Mm -hmm. We have just one woman. And the two princes interested in her. Mm -hmm. We want our prince to marry her because it would solve a lot of problems for us. Exactly. That is, mm -hmm. that is where I have a problem. Good. We should be talking on how to discourage our prince from marrying that woman. Because it is not wise to allow our prince to marry a woman that is aware 
that his father killed her parents. Yes. It's not good. But the woman in question is not thinking about anymore. She only thinks about her food. Uh, she wants to get married. Uh, we should allow her to, to, to continue with her wish. <clears throat> I see serious sense in what Obuefi Abalanza said. Yes. We must discourage the prince from that woman. We can make him to look somewhere else. This is Omar Blue. The charm I have used all my life as a fighter. We shall make it clear to the woman that the two princes must rest and anyone that throws the order becomes a husband. That alone will solve our problem. Let me, let me see the charm. It was made by a man of Uma named Abide Baloka. It doesn't fail. Let us feast for the match tomorrow. And we shall give it to our prince. Bet me, the prince from Awov will never explain what happened to him. It's okay, okay. Are you sure of what you are saying? Never, no, no, I'm very sure. Let's watch us. in your land saw this and briefed Omar Lindsay, your personal assistant, about it. Omar Lindsay, your personal assistant and palace keeper was told about this. He was told how to stop this humiliation but he did nothing. He is a threat to you does not like you. Now, you are up against many enemies. But listen, you shall go into this path because it will change the course of history. E ever since I was told about this wrestling, I have been prepared. I don't know why I'm scared all of a sudden. The only thing that can save you now is the spirit of your father. Even if they humiliate you today, do not feel sad. The God of the just shall vindicate the just. Aha. Uh -huh. Her name is Sonyinye. Those that have in her eyes say, say that she has the royal mark on her forehead. That means she is already a queen. Two of you are princes. Two of you are qualified to marry her. 
But surely she will only marry one of you. The racing contest shall decide for us. Any of you that throws the other in wrestling becomes the husband of this outstanding woman of our land. The bows begins. I welcome you, the chief priest. You actually came at the very dot of time. Thank you. Prince Ubaka has thrown the prince of our world, and he is the one that would marry the outstanding maiden. Never! I reject the man you have chosen for me as my husband. I know the man I intend to marry. The prince of our kingdom is the one I'll marry, not the prince of Indiago kingdom. This wrestling bout was a conspiracy. A conspiracy to disgrace the man who has come here to marry me and make him regret coming here for me. For it has failed because I am living with the prince of our kingdom. With those words from the ascending maiden, I hereby declare that Obaka is no longer the prince and heir apparent to the throne. What? How could you say that? Must you joke with everything? Young man, I am not joking. I am telling you the custom and tradition of our land. Any man rejected by a maiden can never emerge as a king in Dago. Right before us all, the maiden rejected Obaka and he can never be the king. <laughs> See, don't mind them. You're, you're doing every single thing. Don't mind them. What is that? What is that? One thing that is clear to me now is that you perfected plans from only God knows where to destroy me. And I want to ask you, where did I go wrong? Are you telling me you did not enjoy what we did? That is not the issue. That is not the point. The point is that you are an evil woman. Evil is written all over you and I'm telling you to your face that I don't want to see you again. Same little process. Stop with them. Fine. But that would be on one condition. What condition? You have to force the prince to marry me. That's the condition. Are you sure you are insane? Are you out of your mind? The prince has traveled to Ndiago in search of his wife. And he's going to come back with his wife. How can you stand here and you're telling me that I should force the prince, I should, I should make you his wife? Okay, let, let us even assume that the prince 
returns from India without any woman. Do you think I am such an idiot that will force my own prince to marry a woman I have slept with? <laughs> Point of correction. We didn't sleep together, you raped me. What oh, no, no, Maya. And I've decided to forget everything about that. But the only way to free yourself is to force the prince to marry me. That's just the only way to free yourself. Look, they go into a human form because they go into a direct human form. Where did I get? Where can you get even this in the equator? Where did I go wrong? Can you get this in the equator? Can you get this in the equator? I don't understand what you're saying. I don't understand. Does it mean you no longer want to fight for your man? Your own man, Adugo. What I know is that the prince is up against the gods. And I myself, I don't want to be part of it. Wait, wait, Adugo, Adugo, wait, wait, wait. Are you sure you know what you're doing? Are you sure you know what you're saying? Is your own man we're talking about hell? Yes. What I'm saying is that you have a wicked heart. And you are, you've not me. been a great influence to me. Yes, you. And let me warn you. Don't you ever come close to me again. Do you understand me? Do you understand? Me, bad influence. Yes. <laughs> There's nothing I want to see in this life. The prince should be married to. Hey, I'm the one. Why is he always looking at that girl? Please, why are you treating me like this? Why? Never go alone, Cornelu. Or you go, Cornelu. You go, but you go, and Babu. Any man of this land who could lift this staff from the earth is the king with a crown. Chief Priest, why are you changing the course of our history? I am not changing the course of our history. I am trying to salvage this land from the hands of angry ancestors. There are unresolved murders in this land. And the blood of the just keeps calling for justice. She started it as a mission, and I can tell you, it's a mission for justice. Any man of this land who can lead to this, serve from the earth, is the king who must crown. I don't know the essence of this gathering. That is my rightful place. I am the crown prince of this kingdom, yes. and the heir apparent to the throne. Yes. 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 Abomination! <laughs> the gods are not asleep. Abomination! <laughs> Hey! 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 Hey!
We shall gather a fortnight to witness the coming king select his wife. Made it. And that was the problem. That was what caused the problem. Leave the chief priest out of this. Ubeka, if you have closed your eyes and choose from the selected maidens, by now you would have become the king. But you refused. Ubeka, tell me, did you see the shame? Did you see the shame, Ubeka? So tell me now, where are you going to hide? That will be the last thing I will ever do. The last thing I will ever do. I am not going to hide from anybody. I don't know how you're going to do it. Pass. That means you can go. Not with my maiden. That maiden stole my heart. So what do you want me to do now? Can we possibly prevent anybody from leaving this kingdom? I don't know how you're going to do it. But that maiden is the treasure of this kingdom. Yes, she is the treasure. Treasure of the kingdom. I don't know how you want to do it. That means you can go. For all I care, he can go wherever he wants to go to. But not with that man. Not with my men. And not with the men of the skin. Whatever you do. I know why you came to this land. You have been going around telling people that I stole your man. And I am wondering, Ijoma, why would you do a thing like that? Where did I go wrong? Why would you come to this land to murder my image? What's going on? Why do you kneel before me? Please, Oye. Please find a place in your heart to forgive me. I'm sorry. sorry. Ijoma, I told you I have already forgiven you. But the prince... Prince is very angry with you. He is the one you ought to be begging. I want a favor from you. What favor? Your brother, the king designate. I want you to introduce me to him. As what? He needs a refined girl like me. Someone that would open up his timid eyes to the civilization of Awovo. Please, Oye, I beg you, talk to him for me. See, if he marries me, it will be a marriage that would open up your own land. A good lady is a man that follows his own heart. Don't underestimate the position you share in his life. He loves you so much and he can do anything for you. Please, I need you to talk to him first of all. And I'm very sure he will listen to you. Please. Please. I'm happy for you. My heart accepted it the very first day I set my eyes on you. Now that it's clear that you are the one she loves, you have our consent. You may live with her. She's your wife. Thank you very much. I I'm very excited. She means the whole world to me. And I am sure her parents will be happy that finally she's going to be queen of the same land that gave her life. That's correct. We're excited here. And I know they'll be more excited. Yeah. I should direct you on the path you would follow as you return to our world without passing through the evil forest. Are there friendlier routes? Yes. 
That's what he told me. And I was shocked. That is the roof Ijoma followed. Really? It is important for you to know this route. Because by knowing it, you can come here easily, anytime. By this route, you can come here in one day and go back that same day. This route is through Umezu. <laughs> Thank you. I am happy that that proof I got to feel in my eyes. Onye feze, eze ruya. Bam. Your father practically worshipped the king. He was killed by the same death that would have killed the king. Today, his son will be the next king of Indiago. <laughs> What is she doing here? My brother. Imagine a world with her as your wife. She will form a bridge between this land and other developed kingdoms. Please. Take a close look at her. And make a decision. This lady here does not possess the heart of queens. I am sorry, she cannot be my wife. You called me and I'm here, please. I don't have the whole time. Why are you sounding as if you don't know me again? Why? I still remain Obaka. The man you've always wanted with all your heart. You see, I have gone round. I have seen all. And I have come to realize that you're the woman I want. This, this whole thing is just very funny. Uh, I don't know. Why are you saying this whole thing? It's been very fun. Why? Tell me. Don't you want to be my wife again? See, I have come for us to agree. Please. Be my wife. Just as he said, the center of attraction has been withdrawn. And my interest has evaporated. Well, Ubaka, I'm sorry. I am no longer interested in someone like you. Uh, wait, 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 wait. I don't go to go. Please. I mean, why are you sounding like this? Why are you sounding like this? Is it because of what that fool said? What that chief priest said? And you think I am nothing? I don't mean anything again. I don't go. Let me tell you. I still remain Prince Obaka, the son of Eze Udenze of Ndeago. It will never change. I still remain the crown prince of this kingdom and the heir apparent to the throne. Well, Obaka, I wish you good luck. But if you must know, you failed to make me your wife when I needed you the most. Hmm? I gave you my heart. But what did I get in return? Oh, I'm sorry. You can't have me. I don't want you anymore. Please. Hey! I want to wake up. I want to wake up, oh. I want to wake up and realize that all this is a dream. What nonsense is this? This is reality. Okay. So wake up from your dream. I have actually gone round and I can tell you that all the maidens are saying the same thing. Ubaka! They don't want you again. They don't want you again. 
which one should be good I cannot work any more than this. Why are you taking me to? What do you want from me? Why call me out by this time of the night? <clears throat> you once came to my palace and made a remarkable statement. I did not know the meaning of that statement. That powerful statement that you made then. Now I know. Adoibo, I have looked all the maidens. It is you. I want to make my wife. Please. I'm begging you. Let's agree, both of us. Let us agree. Let us agree to be man and wife. It only takes insanity for someone to see where people are making merriment and enter where people agonize. I don't understand the meaning of that. The meaning is that my interest in you has evaporated because the only thing that attracts medians to you has been withdrawn. And that is to tell you that I cannot settle for someone like you because I'm worried if you say about nature or Jabba Bana Do you get me? And if that is the reason why you call me out by this time of the night, I am sorry, but I have to go now. Please. You're the only maiden from my village. You're the closest to me, the closest to my heart. Yes, you, you're the closest to my heart. Even if every other maiden rejects me, you cannot reject me. Huh. Adoibo, I know you cannot reject me. I beg you, please, say yes to me. Say yes to me and give me a sense of belonging. At the peak of my desperation, when I needed you to say yes to me and take me as your wife, you turned me down. You abandoned me and asked your assistant to ask me for the night. You said no to me then. And now, I say no to you forever.
My love, <coughs> um, I think we have to go now oh. so we can get home on time. Yes, you're right. All right. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Even as we go, we keep singing. Yeah. You! You refuse to accept the olive branch of peace I offered you as the crown prince of India. And now you want to live with the only woman I've come to love. I am here today to tell you that you are a dreamer. This is the intruder that took what belongs to me. And he must not leave this kingdom. <sighs> I shall not die both of you. And fill the broadcast of Ndaro with your cursed carcasses. I am here for you. Don't say one more word. Now I see. Now I see it. You are the goddess of our over people. The goddess that have been troubling my kingdom. Abunye, crush them with the goddess. And I shall give to you 20 hectares of land. <laughs> You shall make an oath to that effect. I swear. I swear with the sacrament of my mother Earth. That I will cross them with the goddess. I shall be with the head of the world. <laughs> I did not send it. Evil begets evil. I shall leave you to the desolation you brought upon yourself. The prince has returned with his beautiful wife. He already married in Indiago. We shall concentrate ourselves with the test of Onedo to see if she will pass the test and become the queen. How come you've started talking about the palace keeper? My prince, I presume you still remember what you were told by the seer of Onungeni about your palace keeper. I called you out here because I like you. You will not be wrestling with one man. You shall wrestle against all the men. The seer in your land saw this and briefed Omar Lindsay, your personal assistant, about it. Omar Lindsay, your personal assistant and palace keeper, was told about this. He was told how to stop this humiliation, but he did nothing. He is a threat to you. He does not like you. I was hoping to deal with that later. No, no, it cannot wait till later. Omar Lindsay here has compromised the sacred sanctity of this palace. The test of Onedo will yield dangerous results if he is allowed to remain here. I urge that he leaves here entirely to be far from us. Your blood, what are you talking about? 
And what do you mean by your malice is a compromising the sacrosanctity of the palace? I am the palace keeper. Why are you asking me to leave? Why? Here are the saddening facts. Do you know that this man here, Omar in the absence of the prince, has been sleeping with all the maidens that walk in this palace? What? Yes. What? The test of Onedo is a test of virtue. And as I look at the faces of everyone present, he is the only defiled man in our midst. I would want to reiterate once more that he leaves us and goes far from this place until we are done and until the new king comes and in his benevolence forgives him. My prince, I don't know why this... Don't provoke me, Father Omalinze. I believe everything the seer has said. Even before he spoke, he said the end of the seer of Onungene had told me that you were not committed to the welfare of the throne or the prince. Now, in line with the verdict of Ichiobelago, I order you to leave the throne room. Not just the throne room. He should leave here entirely and be far from us. His presence will destroy what we're about to do here. We cannot possibly suffer the ills of a man who cannot restrain his loins. Get out! My people, now that uh, Omalese has gone away, we shall start with the day's business. My daughter, this is the sacred mat of Onedo, as handed down by our ancestors. Anyone who is to be the queen of this kingdom, must stand on this mat for one minute. You have been married already, but you are not yet our queen. For you to be the queen, you must stand on this mat and pass the sanctity test of Onedo. Come on. I hand you over your wife as a queen to go in peace. Queen of my heart, I love her so. I will swim a river. Just for you, climb the highest mountain to be with you. Roam the thickest forest, only near you're the best. There's nothing I won't do to be with you. Women are evil. Women are so, so evil. Why? Why didn't I control myself? Why? Your love has captured me all for you. I will roam the forest to be with you. For you, I will fight the spirits all for you. To be with you, to be with you. Standing as Ozo Ojimma, the head of Ndiojane, of our wolf, I crown you as a member of our wolf. Captured me all for you. I will roll the fool. I'm 
for you, I will thank the spirits oh, for you to be with you. To be with you. I stand as a no who of Ndiago to address this wonderful gathering. It may look small, but very, very sacred in our land, Ndiago. Today is a remarkable day. Because a queen is going to be chosen for the coming king. The royal band will begin to sound. <laughs> Maidens, I want you to listen very, very carefully. You will dance and dance and dance your heart out. Because one of you will emerge as the queen of this kingdom and the head of all the women in this great kingdom. It is an opportunity that you will not allow to miss. Bounce. Chief Priest, oh no, it is your time. Oh, can I have a man and wait to do? Oh, your face is a real one. Your face is a look. I am sure that none of these maidens shall reject you. You are the king we shall crown today on the condition that you pick one of these maidens. As your wife, that shall be the queen. You shall surrender the golden bracelet to the coming queen. Good talk, yes, For that is what your father gave her as his blessing. Yes. The selection starts. Okay. Okay. 
用伊咱爱水干死。哇、欸！哇、欸！爸爸，爸爸，你送给哪子呢？那只能送给哪子？我问不能挂的。I know the elders that selected this meetings are really wonderful. I can say without contradiction that they are the best in this land. Any vera man will want to select all, but I'm afraid I am restricted to make just one choice. If I don't select you, you or you, please don't feel bad. But see yourself as a great woman of this kingdom who would align herself with the maiden that would eventually emerge as the queen to move this kingdom forward. Look very well so you can see. So we gonna feel open your eyes and see your inner eyes.
My inner eyes have been opened. And now I can see the queen. Please be my wife. What is she waiting for now? She should accept what is she waiting for. Okay. So that you could help me move this kingdom forward. By the powers vested on me as Ezemwa, the chief prince of Ndago, Ezemwa, I hereby crown you Eze on your face one of Ndago. Hi, hi. Searching for the queen of my 